Hey guys, Claire here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about all things Harry and Meghan. It's the last day of December 2023, and I figured, why not do a recap of my favorite Harry and Meghan moments of this year? Fresh off of its 2022 release, Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary pulled in an impressive 241.53 million viewing hours in the month of January 2023. Soon after Prince Harry's memoir Spare was released and quickly became the best-selling book of 2023, selling 3.2 million copies in its first week alone, becoming a New York Times bestseller and breaking the Guinness World Records for the fastest-selling non-fiction book of all time. With the release of Spare, Prince Harry did a couple interviews. Two of my favorites included the 60-minute interview with Anderson Cooper, which pulled a season high of 11.2 million viewers. My favorite of them all was Prince Harry's interview with Stephen Colbert. The episode with Prince Harry drew the largest audience for The Late Show with Stephen Colbert in more than two years. In February, Rachel Zane ranked amongst the most influential TV characters. Soon after, Prince Harry and Meghan's Artwell Foundation honored its first recipient of the Artwell and NAACP Digital Civil Rights Award. In March, Prince Harry showed up for court, donning a dapper Dior shirt. And while Prince Harry was in court in the UK, Meghan Markle won a dismissal of a court battle against her half-sister Samantha. Meghan and the Archwell team stepped out to support Harvest Home in LA. In March of 2023, the titles of Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet were updated on the official royal family's website. Soon after, Princess Lilibet was christened in an intimate gathering in California. Spare Mania continued as the cutest little kiddos cosplayed as Prince Harry for World Book Day. Just look at those little faces. <laughs> in April, Megan received the Gracie Award for her Archetypes podcast and soon after verified that she would not be attending King Charles's coronation. And soon enough, the tabloids and royal trolls alike lost their ever-loving minds because Meghan got a silk press. Soon enough, it was announced that Meghan signed with one of the biggest agencies, WME. To round off the month, Harry and Meghan were spotted with the team Archwell enjoying a game. In May, Meghan won the Women of Vision Award and looked stunning while doing so. And in June, we saw Prince Harry enjoying the Warrior Games in San Diego. July ushered in the era of Suits. This was the beginning of Suits setting several streaming records for 2023. To round off the month, Prince Harry, Meghan, and the children enjoyed some 4th of July festivities with their fellow neighbors. In August, we saw Artwell Foundation doing some really great work with the Youth Power Fund Advisory Committee. Also spotted Harry and Meghan out on a double date with friends. Soon after, Prince Harry and Nacho Figueres visited Japan for the start of a week of polo for Santa Bale. And to round off the month, Heart of Invictus was released on Netflix. In September, we were truly blessed with several sightings starting up the month of Prince Harry, Meghan, and Mama Doria having a blast at Beyonce's concert. Meghan was spotted taking selfies with Kelly Rowland and Kerry Washington. Prince Harry flew into the UK for the Well Child Awards, then flew right on to the Invictus Games. With the introduction of new nations participating and all the fanfare, I'd say Invictus Games 2023 was a massive success. Back home in California, Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan joined Kevin Costner and other famous faces for the 1805 Live event. Archwell provided some much needed school supplies for girls in Nigeria. And Harry and Meghan returned to NYC to host a parent summit for World Mental Health Day. The Archwell Foundation celebrated the International Day of the Girl with Troop 6000. Prince Harry was spotted at the F1 Grand Prix pit stop in Austin. And while little ones dressed up as Prince Harry for Halloween, Prince Harry was enjoying a little bit of trick-or-treating with the kids. In November, Meghan attended the Variety Power of Women event, looking stunning. And they were spotted enjoying the Katy Perry show with the host of other celebrities. Prince Harry made a very comical video appearance for the Bob Woodward Foundation. It was then announced that Prince Harry would become the global ambassador for Scotty's Little Soldiers. We then spotted Harry and Meghan enjoying a game of hockey. Prince Harry also did the ceremonial face-off. In preparation for the upcoming Invictus Games, Prince Harry made a visit to Vancouver and secured another partnership. 
Prince Harry's memoir Spare was included in People Magazine's Top Books of 2023. As the year came to a close, Harry, Meghan, and the children enjoyed a little vacation time in Costa Rica. And to round off the year of 2023, Prince Harry was victorious in court, where it was proved that the tabloids did in fact engage in extensive phone hacking. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'll say all in all, the year 2023 was a very productive one for the House of Sussex. And I'd just like to take this moment to say a very special thank you to all of you who have watched my content this year, who have liked, subscribed, commented, shared, every bit of interaction helps. And a very special thanks to all of you who have contributed via special thanks. Your contributions have all gone to things that improve the quality of the videos. Um, a better mic, a better editing software, and storage to hold all of the videos and photos and receipts that I use in the videos. So thank you, thank you so very much. Your support is greatly appreciated. And if you do enjoy this content and you have not subscribed yet, feel free to do so. We'd love to have you. I'm hoping that the House of Sussex and each and every one of you have a blessed, productive, and peaceful 2024. Love from me to you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell.